Oh, hey, hey. Are y'all about tired of hearing me talk about this dog on a little old pump? My wife is too. I'm kind of tired of it myself. But I took a notion. I had an idea. I got a few pieces of, not a lot, but just a few pieces of hardware here. I'm going to turn this into one that'll work off my air compressor. And I'm going to show you how you can do it, and it don't cost nearly nothing. I'm going to move y'all around. We'll check it out. Here what to come up with. Got a pipe fitting. It's a half by quarter. Quarter pipe would screw in right there. I'm going to use that. Put my air nipple in there. Hook my air hose to. On the other side, I run a quarter inch tap down in here and put one of those little leftover fittings I had. Measured me off a short piece of tubing. That piece of tubing it's going to go through a T. It's a half by quarter inch black pipe T. I ain't going to tape it up right now. This is a test, but it's going to work. I know it is. Got me a piece of 3 eighths pipe and a reducer. Well, 3 eighths by half. I had to make this. This was a brass nipple. I had to cut the nipple off of it, drill it out, and tap it. I didn't have nothing. Sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got. We're gonna assemble that like so, but if you look, that's gonna thread into about right there, and this piece of tubing is gonna extend past this. This side is where the vacuum is gonna take place. As the air is blown through this tube and evacuates, it being the tube being larger than this, it's going to create a void on the back side, creating a vacuum. So we're just going to hand tighten that stuff together. We're going to put that there. We're going to take one of those uh, fittings. That's a quarter to three eighths for that slip fit right there. And now let me go cut us a piece of tubing. We're going to run it from here up to our vacuum side on our pump. And let's give it a quick run. All I've done is cut me a piece of this tubing. I'm using, what is it I using? I'm using 3 8 diameter. And hooked it up to what was the vacuum side from this pump. And don't get me wrong, this little air valve was a lot easier to build than that was. So if you've got air available in your shop, you want to try to do something like this, this might, might be a better alternative. Uh, for lack of not having a good valve, I took a, a little air nozzle, pushed it down so I could get me an air fitting on there. That's all that is. Uh, we're going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to my fitting on my super air sucking device. Let's get some air. Got a little bad oil here. Now this oil right here, it is a bit thin. It had gas mixed with it. I sucked it out of that dog on Kawasaki over there, but we're going to give it a try. I just emptied this, so we got plenty of room in there. Let's find some air. Here it is. And what do y'all think? Think it'll work? I guess it ain't going to work with this tube up here. Let's stick him down there in the, in the jar. I'm going to put a little heat on that right there, straighten him out. But it's been working for me. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm going to see how long it takes to take a quart out of there. I wish I'd have hooked that up with that bigger hose.
didn't want that to happen. We'll cut that off. I don't think we need that running. I'm gonna put me some tape on these fittings, get rid of some of these air leaks. Far as I'm concerned, that's a dual purpose pump now. Working off of uh, either air or manually with the pump that we built. I'll put a link to this pump, how we built this pump and this cylinder down in the description. If I was out remotely and I needed to change oil, I'd certainly use this plunger pump, which ain't hooked up right now. But here in the shop, I believe I'm going to go with this. pump back together because I haven't figured out yet how I want to mount this apparatus on here. We're going to find some way or another to do it. Just ain't going to do it today because I'm getting hungry. It's about supper time. I'm about tired of fooling with this. I'm done. I'll come up with some way, but I ain't going to tell y'all about it. You just have to see it one day when I'm using it. And to clarify, all I'm doing is hooking it to this tank, bypassing this pump all together. This pump is not coming into play when you're using this assembly, which really only consists of this. So uh, good luck. If you want to make you one of those, play with it. You may have to fiddle around, try and find out what size length of pipe that is. That's a piece of six inch pipe here as far as the the t's that are concerned and how you connect it man that's all up left up to your imagination i'm sure you'll come up with something good hey if you got any comments you got any questions hey just holler at me i'll be happy to help you with it meanwhile anybody know what the devil that is i still don't know and i want to know you get a minute and you see him on a live chat. He's a very knowledgeable and interesting young fella. Give that fella a checking out. Meanwhile, it's cold. I'm hungry. If y'all enjoyed this video, got anything at all out of it, how about one of these? Subscribe.